Hey what's up guys, this is 3DFX and I've got a little tutorial for you today on how to make a nice 3D text like this one so um, with the uh, bump on it um, and this glossy effects here and so on so um, let's get started don't wait too long um, first you need your Cinema 4D I'm creating a new um, project and first we need the render settings uh, to output I'm using the size uh, 1920 on 1200 that's my size because I'm using uh, those texts uh, really often in my backgrounds um, the next thing is uh, choosing your uh, your folder where you want to save it I'm using text 2 in my 3d text tutorial folder so yeah that's it and the format is PNG and we need alpha channel for uh, PNG so there's no background there's just your uh, text you just have to put it in your Photoshop in your backgrounds no backgrounds and so on yeah but that's it. Um, then we have to go to NTLizing. I'm, I'm not sure if you spell it like that, but uh, yeah, we're changing geometry to best, and then we put some effects on our uh, text. We need ambient occlusion, and we need global illumination. On global illumination, we change it to IC plus QMC. Um, only picture and then we put those things to uh, um, small uh, small weak and minimal that's it that are our render settings next thing we have to do is uh, making our 3d text we go to MoGraph and to Mo text then we have our 3d text on this thing you can uh, Type in your text you want to have. Uh, I'm using tutorial. And on font, you change your font. I'm using Atrox. That's it. Looks pretty nice. So, yeah, that's it. First thing we are going to change is the depth. We are changing it to 50. And we use caps for our text. So, change your caps to caps here that's it I'm not sure uh, how to say it on English um, so yeah we're changing the size to around 2 yeah looks good and then next thing we going we're going to do is uh, copy our text so we select our text and um, press command C and command V to copy our text there it is our second text um, and we are going to change the depth of no the size of the caps again to about four and the depth of the text to around 25 yeah looks good uh, around 25 and then we go and copy and paste the text again and change the position to about here because we are going to use this little ca um, gaps here um, I think it looks pretty nice and then copy and paste change the position again copy and paste change the position again and yeah five texts that's enough so that's our text next thing we're going to do is um, creating a new material you go to um, file and new material or you can uh, double click on this uh, square here double click on it double click on the material again and the first thing we're going to do is uh, changing the color I'm using a darkish gray uh, that looks good and uh, we're put in a reflection and we p um, activate edit additive sorry additive on it and on texture we give our material a fresnel 
put down the reflection, the brightness uh, to around, I'm using 25, 24, and the mix strange to around 59. Yeah, looks good. So, and now we're going to use the bump. That's our material, uh, almost ready. Now we're going to uh, Window and Content Browser and all of you, sorry, I'm showing you uh, what I've got for you here. So, uh, damn it. Um, these are all my material packs and so on. I bought them all, um, but they're good. But we don't need uh, plugins for our text tutorial. But all of you should have this uh, visualize um, folder here. And now we can open it and go to materials and then we're going to go to metal sorry and then we're going to choose one of these materials which uh, has a nice bump like I'm not sure uh, if you don't want to have this material bumps I'm using very often stone bumps looks pretty nice though um, like the no which one do we choose I'm u using claystone I think it's called claystone yeah there it is claystone and um, double click on it so you have this material on your material uh, bar here double click on stone material and you have this bump activated bump now you go to texture and go to copy shader copy the shader copy it close it and then double click on your uh, self-made material and activate bump go to bump and then go to texture paste your shader and then we can uh, put up the strength about to 100 yeah, I'm going to use 100 so we got this bump here and this material I'm going to use in the uh, texts here, the little small texts. Uh, what it makes a lot easier uh, and it doesn't take so long to uh, draw it every time here, you can uh, click on the material and press command uh, on your um, Mac or PC, it's um, yeah, command, um, hold it and now drag the, from the material to the next text and com pr uh, hold command again and so and, and draw it to the other texts so it's a lot easier and a lot faster now we're going to select all of them click on the one material hold shift and click on the next one and then go to uh, I'm using quarter uh, not sure uh, maybe that, maybe that's it. And then we go to make a new material. Double click on your material bar again. Double click on the material. Um, then we're going to change the color. I'm using a blue. Oh no, that's that one. Yeah, that one is better. Then go to reflection again. Additive now on. Um, put in a Fresnel again. I'm um, using that. Yeah, uh, brightness to 59 and uh, mixed range to about 85. Um, I'm using that one now. And then you can draw it in your next text. But now we're going to put another bump on it. Like, which one do we choose on it? Um, onyx looks good. Double click on Onyx. Go to bump again. Go to texture. Copy shader. Blue, your blue material, bump again, activate bump, texture, copy shader, and then put up your strange again. 90 or 80, whatever you want. Yes, that's it. Click on your material and projection to front front uh, projection and don't want to quarter, quarter projection. That's it. Now we are going to create a light. Go to your cube thing here and then to uh, layer, 
that's our layer. Uh, we go the uh, depth, put it down a bit like this one, about 139, and your the bright, the brights around that. No, nope, a little bit too big. That's it. Yeah, and then put it up around here. Create a new material. Double click on it. And then put off your color and your uh, luminance. No, that's not luminance. The the glen, um, glamour light. I'm not sure how it's called in English. And then put your luminance uh, on about 150. So you got this white material, and this material uh, will be our material for the uh, layer. Then we go and copy the layer, draw it around here and put the, de uh, the depth a little bit bigger and go to this button here and now you can uh, change your uh, the, the, uh, the position of it and I'm going to use that one I think. Draw it a little bit up and then we're going to click on the text that we can that the camera is on it and we're going to look if the text looks good and render it so that takes about a little time yeah uh, I think that's that's it. it looks pretty good for a tutorial um, I hope uh, I could help you um, yeah I hope I could give you a lot of tips and now you're going to make your own cool texts with the bump um, and that's it. Thanks for watching guys and uh, I hope I see you soon.